The Grapevine Home Bank at 404 South Main Street in Grapevine, Texas has a really strong connection to the Bonnie and Clyde gang. On December 30th, 1932, two young members that ran with Bonnie and Clyde came here and robbed the Grapevine Home Bank. They divided the money in half and one of the robbers took the getaway car and half the money and he went to an adjoining community in Euless, not far from here. Our current mayor's dad, Gordon Tate, and two other guys got together and they got a gun off of Main Street and they took it and they hunted down the robber and they brought him in almost the same day as the robbery had occurred. The other robber went out on the Grapevine Prairie and he um, knocked on one of the farmer's door and he said he was quote with the posse and needed a ride. So the farmer took him to Dallas where he wanted to go. And when the farmer dropped him off, he gave him $5 for gas money. And he said, I'm so sorry that I scared your wife so bad. Well, that farm, that robber would later be trapped and brought in as well. Both of the robbers were brought in and we got the money eventually. But one of the robbers, the initial one who robbed the bank, he told the police where Bonnie and Clyde were. He told them that they were on Maneka Street in Dallas at Lily McBride's house. And so Malcolm Davis, a Tarrant County deputy sheriff and two other deputy sheriffs get together and they go there just a week after this robbery. And so when they got there, they were looking to get Bonnie and Clyde and Clyde actually killed Malcolm Davis. He's buried not far from here. If you fast forward one year and a few months out on Dove off of Highway 114, Three Grapevine police officers were coming back for lunch on Easter Sunday. One rode ahead and two came behind, and the two police officers behind saw an abandoned car. They stopped to render aid, and it was Bonnie and Clyde. And our current mayor, William D. Tate, says that that was the end of Bonnie and Clyde out on Dove. They actually died about five weeks later in Louisiana, but at that time, when they kill those two police officers, all of law enforcement goes down on them. This entire story is documented from an original newspaper article, 12 original pages from the Fort Worth Star-Telegram that I found on eBay a few years ago. And we got it, we read the whole article of what the banker said to the robbers and robbers said to the farmers, what actually happened here. And so every day we proudly display this article. So our guests from all around the world come to Grapevine to learn the story of Bonnie and Clyde, robbery of this bank, the young guys who robbed the bank as part of the gang. And so we're able to document all the information that we have now because of that article. Bonnie and Clyde hung out from West Dallas, through Irving, through Grapevine, and into South Lake. And it is rumored that, and this I, I can't really document it, but it's rumored that they would be seen on Main Street here in Grapevine. They were not welcome, but they would be seen. And some of the farmers around here that had barns and, and different things, there's been stories of someone spending the night in their barn, cigarettes and, and things were left and everything. And it, it was said it was during that time when Bonnie and Clyde were frequenting all this area.